Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel um, and of course another video in our series of Windows 10 and old Windows 10 PC how to speed it up how to help it out or is it time to change well like I said most of the time it isn't a time to change the other thing is how much software you've got installed on your PC some people tend to install everything they see um, you know, usually when your PC starts getting slower, the temptation to go online and start looking at any apps, any programs that are actually telling you that they will help you make that PC uh, run faster um, is there. And there are people that will do the download of all of these, you know, pieces of software. And, you know, their thinking is going to help out that. You know, but the claims of that software is that this PC is going to run better after a cleanup. The thing is, is Windows runs fine, and Windows does not need a cleanup. Too many people think that, you know, you got to remove the temporary files. you got to remove this or that. you got to clean the registry. Windows 10 does a fine job at working the way it is. There's no registry cleanup. It doesn't exist, actually. When you see CCleaner telling you, oh, we're going to clean the registry, the only thing it does is remove very minor things from old installs. It actually doesn't even impact the PC. Um, I'm surprised by the amount of people that tell me, well, my PC feels faster after. Your PC feels faster much more because you've restarted the PC after a cleanup than the cleanup itself. And that is something that a lot of people don't realize. You cannot tweak the registry really much because the registry is a very strategic part of Windows. If CCleaner or any other, um, you know, registry cleaning software would do too much of a job on it, your PC would actually bog down. It wouldn't work well. So the software, what it does is minor. And everything it does is minor. There's a lot of people that think, well, I have too much files on my hard drive. It's going to slow it down. Unless you have no more disk space, no, it doesn't slow down. Most files are there and sleeping. They're not impacting the work of your PC itself. So the thing that, of course, we talked about in the previous video is looking at what starts up. But sometimes also that startup process, when you see a lot of software, it also means maybe you have too much stuff in terms of software installed. Because software tend to have a few things, a few tricks. They have a startup phase. Yes, some of them stick with the startup, have an icon and work in the background. Some will have processes that work in the background, even when they're unused, that won't even show up when they are on the uh, when you look at the task manager in the startup some are useless in their own way programs that you know uh, give you all sorts of security things zone alarm you don't need zone alarm you don't need things like that once again you know i know a lot of people rely and think their antivirus is the best that's not security and no it is not the best there isn't a best antivirus there is a best way and practice of using your PC to stay safe, which is much better than any antivirus. So, you know, um, it's up to you, but I always say it. The Windows security app is enough. It's not the antivirus that protects you. And there's a good chance that antivirus you have is extremely bogging down your system. So a lot of the things that people complain about the sluggishness of their PC has to do with that. Don't hesitate to go to your start menu and go into your settings and look at all the apps that are installed. And in these apps, make sure that you uninstall anything that you don't use anymore. Anything that is here that, you know, for some reason is something that you installed maybe in the past, maybe some multimedia player you don't use anymore. Everything, every single app that's in this list could slow down your PC in one way or another. So all they have to do is simply click 
and click the uninstall button for every single thing that you don't use anymore. And this will actually pro probably remove some of the processes that start up with the PC at the same time. So not only are you cleaning up some of the startup processes, you're also cleaning up some of the background startup that you know isn't used anymore. So don't be afraid to click the uninstall button and uninstall anything that you don't use anymore. I don't need this PC help check to you know for anything. Stuff like that. Remove, you know, I won't use Zoom on this PC. Uninstall Zoom. There we go. So all of these things will actually help you at the same time. Once that is done, some software will ask you for a restart. A lot of them don't. But once you've done the uninstall of the software you don't use anymore, of course, go the start button, click power, and click restart. Always restart after uninstalling software, especially several pieces of software. And that will also help you get some speed back. So just remove everything you don't use anymore. You know, especially if you've been using your PC for four, five, six, seven years without ever reinstalling Windows, there could be a lot of things that's installed in there that you used in the past at some point. You just don't need it anymore. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.